Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the Bourjois Rouge Velvet, the lipstick. And this is the long lasting lipstick by Bourjois. I'm going to show you swatches of my favorite colors from this lipstick and also some swatches of the Rouge Edition Velvet, which is the liquid matte lipstick of Bourjois. Matte lipsticks have become a huge trend this fall and winter and all of the brands started to release their own versions of liquid matte lipsticks and matte lipsticks. They're long lasting, they're very comfortable to wear. I've already shown you some of my favorite matte lipsticks this season, but most of them come quite pricey and I've shown you only high-end brands and the price is usually between $35 and $40 which can be a little bit overpriced for a lipstick which is why I really wanted to find a nice high quality affordable matte lipsticks and I came across Bourjois. I really love these lipsticks. Before I start I wanted to tell you that this is not a sponsored review. I really like Bourjois and most of their makeup is really comparable to the high-end brands and is very high quality but at very affordable prices and I really like these lipsticks which is why I decided that I'm going to share them with you and I'm going to show you my favorite colors. These lipsticks are very high quality and I can definitely say that they're the same quality as most of the high-end brands and they are very long-lasting, they feel very comfortable on the lips and the prices of these lipsticks is somewhere in between $10 to $12, which compared to the $35, $40 for a high-end lipstick is a great price and the quality is amazing. I I'm very demanding when it comes to the makeup products that I use and I usually like to pay for quality. But here I can definitely tell you that if you are on a budget then these lipsticks are really a great option. They perform the same as a high-end lipstick but the price is as low as $10. So let's get started. The first color that I'm going to show you is number 01 Hey Nude and this is a beautiful nude color that is very easy to wear. I think this color is mainly suitable for people who have pale skin tone because the color itself is very pale and it's like my lips but better. All of the swatches in this video have been filmed in natural daylight. I haven't used artificial lighting. I'm just sitting in front of the window and I think that this is going to help you to really understand how the colors look in real life. The next color that you see is number 03 and this is one of my favorite colors because again it's so easy to wear. I think this color is going to suit most skin tones because it's a beautiful pale pink color and for most people this is going to be the perfect pinkish nude color. It's very suitable for work and makes your complexion look very fresh and young. The color that you see right now is number 08 and this is my most favorite color. This is a beautiful orangey red lipstick which is very easy to wear because it's not the classic heavy red lipstick but I think that it brings freshness to the complexion. I think I love this color so much because it reminds me of the French effortless chic. And also I think it's suitable for all seasons. The reasons why I love this lipstick so much is that they're very gentle on the lips and you can easily make any corrections in case you make a mistake you can easily wipe it just using some micellar water which doesn't apply to most of the high-end lipsticks they are really intense and if you make a mistake once you make a mistake you can easily wipe it out but uh, these lipsticks are very easy to wipe any mistakes but at the same time they're very long lasting Moving on to number 9 and this is a classic fuchsia color. It's a reddish pink color that looks very nice on the lips. I like it because it still has the impact of a red lipstick but the pinkish undertones make it a lot easier to wear. 
If you're a fan of red lipsticks, but you find it hard to wear them in your everyday makeup, this is definitely an option to consider because fuchsia color is a very nice and well-balanced combination between red and pink, and it looks gorgeous almost on any skin tone. Most of the time I personally prefer to wear fuchsia instead of red. The next color that I have is number 10, Magnifique, and this is a very deep color. This is a combination of red and purple, and I think that this is the perfect winter shade. It definitely reminds me of winter. It's very dark, but it's very wearable and looks really nice on the lips. I think this type of deep, plummy and aubergine shades are very suitable for the fall and winter season, but why not also if you like it for summer or spring. I really like that kind of a dark lipstick. The next color that I have is number 11 and I really like this color. It's a very dark red color. It's almost like a burgundy red color. Please keep in mind that I'm not being very precise when I apply these lipsticks on my lips. I'm just applying them so that you can see how they look on my face. But I'm not using a lip liner and the application is far from being perfect. I would like to let you know also that my skin is quite pale at the moment. I'm somewhere in between 10 and 20 of the Chanel foundations, but I'm closer to 10. And having in mind that 10 is the lightest shade of Chanel foundations, you can imagine that my skin right now is really pale and washed out. And this was the last shade that I had to show you from Rouge Velvet, the lipstick. Now moving on to the Rouge Edition Velvet, which is the liquid matte lipstick of Bourjois. The first color that I'm going to show you is number 19, and this is a very dark red color. It's very similar to the last color that I showed you, number 11 from Rouge Velvet, the lipstick but it's a little bit lighter. It's the color of a deep red wine. These lipsticks do not dry completely and there is a little bit of transfer, but not much. The next color that you see right now is number 14 and it's very similar to number 10. It's like a deep plummy shade. There is a little bit of deep purple in it and also some reddish undertones, but mainly I would describe it as a deep purple color. And the last shade that I have is number 06 and this is just a nice pink color. I think this is a wearable pink color, but I would definitely say that it's probably more suitable for those of you who have more pale, fair to medium skin tone. It's probably not going to look great on deeper skin tones. I have to say that it's not too bright, but still you have to be a fan of pink to be able to wear this color. So let's have a look at the colors once again in natural daylight, starting with number one, number three, number eight, number nine, number 10, and number 11. And the liquid matte lipsticks, number 6, number 14, and number 19. Now mainly what I like about these lipsticks is that the colors are amazing. You have a great range of colors. 
I think it's a very reasonable price and the quality of these lipsticks is very high. They're like a high-end lipstick. Once you apply the lipstick, it stays put, but when you decide to remove it, you can remove it just very quickly using some micellar water and they don't make your lips dry and irritated and I have very sensitive lips. I really like how long-lasting these lipsticks are. I really like that once you put them, they stay put and you don't feel them on the lips. They don't feel drying, they don't feel heavy. Of course, make sure that you exfoliate your lips before applying and make sure that your lips are not very dry. If your lips are dry and patchy, then you can definitely apply some lip balm beforehand or you can apply some gloss on top of the lipstick to, to help to keep your lips moisturized throughout the day. 30 seconds after application the lipstick dries and there is no transfer. I'm gonna show you right now. This is a napkin and as you can see I pressed really hard the napkin and there is no transfer. There is just a tiny, tiny bit on top, but... However, this is a matte lipstick and if your lips are very dry or sensitive or if outside is very cold and windy, your lips might get a little bit dry, but this would happen with any matte lipstick and that's why I would advise you to apply just a little bit of lip balm before applying the lipstick or on top of the lipstick you can apply a little bit of gloss which is something that I like to do because I like what also when my lipstick is a little bit shiny but if you want to keep it matte just make sure that your lips are well moisturized before you apply the lipstick and then wipe the lip balm just before you apply the lipstick so that your lips have a little bit of moisture in them before applying the lipstick so all in all, I have to say that I really love this lipstick. I can't say that there are any flaws. I can say that I prefer better the lipstick than the liquid version, but this is just me. It's not because of the quality. And also the lipstick is a little bit more long lasting than the liquid matte lipstick, which is why I prefer to wear them. Um, but both of the options are really good. They are very high quality and I love them. I hope that this review was helpful for you and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!